Believe it or not, you can get the best coffee in Nigeria around this boat. So you're telling me that this is true? What do you know about that boat? What do you mean? Like, have you any idea who owns it? No. The Russian mafia. It's full of oil, and it's all stolen from our pipelines. See, when politicians here talk about oil bunkering, they mean the guy with his jerry can and his plastic bottle stealing oil from the pipes and uh, selling it on the streets for 50 cents. But this is the real oil bunkering. The tanker is full of it. I'll tell you how it works. Nigerian Mr. A goes into business with a Russian mafia, Mr. B. Together, they go into business with a militia gang. This gang then siphons off the oil into barges owned by Nigerian Mr. A. Mr. A's barges take the oil to this tanker. The tanker sets sail for Rotterdam. The world buys the oil. Mr. A and Mr. B become very rich. So who is Mr. A? Everyone in politics and business here in this country is Mr. A. It's the same people trading the oil whether through uh, legitimate contracts with the oil companies or stealing it through the pipelines. Same businessmen, same politicians. This is oil bunkering. The whole of Nigerian business is oil bunkering. Someone is stealing it for somebody. And what should be one of the world's richest places is one of the poorest. 80 million Nigerians live in abject poverty. And the barefoot guy selling his bunkered oil on the street corner is just trying to survive. That is all you need to know about how politics...